Smoke rising through the air and paper scattered across the ground as far as the eye can see. This video shot by a resident shows the aftermath of an explosion at an apartment building in Chernihiv, Ukraine on March 3rd. At least 47 people died in Russian bombings in this city that day. Many other strikes have directly hit civilians. Schools, houses, and evacuation routes in the country have been attacked and severely damaged. On top of infrastructure, including this children's hospital. Russia's denied targeting civilians, but our reporting in Ukraine and videos uh, show that in fact civilians have been badly hit. Journal reporters and the news intelligence agency Storyful corroborated dozens of video clips shared by Ukrainian officials and residents. Analysis of those videos shows that despite the Kremlin's denials, Russian forces have been hitting civilians across Ukraine as resistance slowed their military advances. Chernihiv is a city in northern Ukraine, home to more than 280,000 people. Its strategic location, northeast of Kyiv and near the border with Belarus, has led to a heavy presence of Russian forces in the area. Near the building seen in this footage, there's a hospital, a hotel, shops, but no sign of Ukrainian military presence or facilities, apart from a checkpoint manned by a few volunteers, according to residents. In that neighborhood, a dash cam recording posted to social media shows the powerful explosion. Footage shows a children's playground after the blast, as well as the remains of a pharmacy, which Google Earth images show previously looked like this. So it's a place you you know go shopping, then take your kids to uh, to go and play in the playground a little bit. It's a it's a very uh, quiet, pleasant uh, residential area. The woman who shot this video, who is also a journalist, told the Wall Street Journal that she was shopping when the attack happened. She rushed home where her son was with his grandmother. Her son uh, and his grandmother survived, but you see, you know, they're now in a difficult situation. No gas, no electricity, everything smashed up. Uh, uh, terrible destruction. The family managed to flee a few days after the attack. But in many cities under siege, residents say they've been trapped and are struggling to survive. In the southern city of Mariupol, there were scenes of desperation as dead bodies could be seen uncollected on the streets. <laughs> Ukraine and Russia said more than once that they had agreed on some logistics for humanitarian corridors to let residents flee some cities, including Mariupol, but efforts were complicated by continued fighting. On March 9th, President Volodymyr Zelensky was one of several Ukrainian officials to share videos showing a severely damaged children's hospital. Russia's foreign minister said the hospital was being used as a base by Ukrainian fighters, a claim denied by the city's mayor. Those trying to leave have also faced attacks. According to the mayor of Irpin, at least eight civilians were killed by shelling during an evacuation attempt in this suburb of Kyiv. Scenes of destruction resemble each other across Ukraine. In Zhytomyr, which is located west of Kyiv, video shows a school building reduced mostly to rubble on March 4th. The footage was circulated on a Telegram channel about war videos. It was something of a strange target for the Russians in the sense that it doesn't lie on the front lines. And in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, large-scale destruction of residential and historical buildings was documented for several days in a row, after Russian forces failed to capture major urban centers. What the locals say is that this simply looks like a way to try to terrify them, to frighten them um, by indiscriminate bombing. Russian President Vladimir Putin has denied that Moscow is targeting civilians. On March 7th, in a phone call with a European official, Putin said his forces were taking steps to save civilian lives by offering escape corridors for residents. He also accused Kyiv of obstructing those efforts, according to the Kremlin's account of the phone call. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has repeatedly denounced the attacks. We do not see in early March, the International Criminal Court opened an investigation into possible war crimes in Ukraine. With bombs and missiles pounding cities across the country, 
The United Nations said hundreds of civilians had died, many more had been wounded, and millions had fled, contributing to the worst humanitarian crisis in Europe since World War II.